Welcome. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and do the green Tara practice and I'll lead it in such a way that uh, whether you have the empowerment or not, it will be okay. So um, just take a minute, <clears throat> get yourself into meditation posture and just settle the body, settle the mind. Just sit for a moment. And bring your focus to the breath, just for a few moments, allowing the surface distractions to settle. And then we revive our motivation and we'll do a glance meditation on the graduated path. I take refuge in the holy guru, essence of all Buddhas, original grantor of all holy teachings and Lord of all supreme beings. Please guru Buddhas bestow on me the ability to unify my mind with the Dharma and be successful in practicing Dharma in order to achieve the graduated path. May no hindrances occur while achieving this path. Please bless me to realize that I have received a perfect human rebirth, which is highly meaningful, for many reasons difficult to obtain, but perishable, transient, and fragile, decaying in the shortest moment because of its changeable nature. Thus my death is definite, but its actual time is most indefinite. And after death, I am far more likely to be reborn in the lower suffering realms, having created infinitely more negative than positive karma in this life and all previous lives. Please bless me to comprehend how incredibly unendurable is the suffering of the lower realms, that I might take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha with all my heart and realize the evolution of karma in all its profundity, that I might perform only virtuous actions and abandon all negative creations. So just letting your mind sit with the small capacity motivation that seeks good future rebirth in order to continue the path that has healthy fear of what the untamed mind can create and faith based in reason that the Dharma shows the tools to free ourselves from suffering. By practicing in this way, I will be reborn in the upper realms, but will still have to experience unlimited samsaric suffering because of uncontrolled delusion and karma. Please bless me to realize fully the evolution of samsara from uncontrolled rebirth to death to rebirth and to follow day and night the three higher trainings of the path, higher conduct, higher concentration and higher wisdom which are the main methods to release me from samsara. So connecting with the middle scope motivation to be free of samsara completely, to achieve liberation nirvana, that more even deeply understands karma. 
even more deeply emphasizes ethics. But as each sentient being has been my mother, and as most of them are in extreme suffering, please bless me to bring success to all by renouncing the perfect happiness of self and practicing the bodhisattva's deeds of the six perfections with a bodhisattva's mind of exchanging self with others on the basis of the equanimity meditation. Thus I shall have no sorrow in experiencing the samsaric suffering of all other sentient beings, for no matter how long, having trained my mind in the general path. So connecting with the great scope motivation to become fully enlightened, to become a Buddha ourselves for the benefit of all sentient beings. Please bless me to follow the quick Vajrayana teachings by feeling sentient beings suffering, very unimaginably unbearable for even the shortest moment as my own, and to achieve the attainment of Shakyamuni Buddha immediately at this very moment by keeping my ordinations and the instructions of the guru with the best and highest care in life for the sole purpose of enlightening all sentient beings. So expanding that great scope motivation to include the Vajrayana, which not only wishes for Buddhahood, but wishes for Buddhahood quickly because of the dire needs of sentient beings now. And then visualize, above the crown of my head, I visualize a lotus and moon disc. Upon these is the great treasury of compassion, Arya Tara, mother of all enlightened beings, who is oneness with my kind root guru. My guru is seated in the full lotus position within a transparent bubble of rainbow colored light is pink in complexion and wears saffron robes and a pendant's hat. His right hand is at his heart in the gesture of teaching the Dharma and holds a vajra and stem of white lotus that blooms beside his right ear. His left hand rests on his hip. It holds the bell and the stem of another white lotus that blooms beside his left ear stabilizing that. The Guru Buddha in the form of Lama Tsongkhapa above your crown, facing the same direction as you. And even more important than the visualization is having the sense that the Guru deity is here, bearing witness to your practice, supporting you. At my guru's heart is Aryatara in female aspect, green in color and seated in the dancing posture within a rainbow bubble. Her left leg is bent up and her right leg is outstretched. Her left hand is at her heart in the mudra symbolizing the triple gem, 
and holding the stem of a blue Utpali flower. Her right hand extended over her right knee is in the mudra of granting sublime realizations. She is beautifully adorned with jeweled ornaments and scarves, and at her three places bears the syllables Om, Ah, Hum. At her heart is a lotus and moon seat, on which stands a radiant green syllable Tom. Rays of green light radiate in all directions from the Tom and invoke all the enlightening beings of the 10 directions. They are all absorbed into Aryatara and become one. Stabilizing that. And then make a heartfelt prayer. Please remain above my head until I receive enlightenment. Refuge in Bodhicitta. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened through the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly, by my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly, by my merit from giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. Reconnecting with refuge in Bodhicitta. and the seven limb prayer. With my body, speech, and mind, I devoutly prostrate. I offer all offerings, both real and imagined. All sins and offenses amassed from beginningless time, I confess. I rejoice in all virtuous actions of holy and ordinary beings. O oh, gurus and Buddhas, please remain until samsara ends and turn the wheel of dharma for sentient beings. All my virtues and those of all others, I dedicate to the great enlightenment. This ground anointed with perfume strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha field and offer it. May all living beings enjoy this pure land. The objects of my attachment, aversion, and ignorance, friends, enemies, and strangers, and my body, wealth, and enjoyments. Without any sense of loss, I offer this collection. Please accept it with pleasure and bless me with freedom from the three poisons. Yidam Guru Ratna Mandala Kamni and revive the visualization and request. Please bless me to purify all obscurations, non-virtues of my body so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra body. And visualize white light emanates from the Om at Arya Tara's brow and curves in an arc to enter my brow. My body is purified completely of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra body. Arc of white light from her crown to yours.
from between her two eyebrows to between your two eyebrows. Stream of white nectar light, purifying any mistakes such as killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, anything negative done physically. and shift. Please bless me to purify all obscurations of my speech so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra speech. And red light emanates from the awe at Arya Tara's throat and curves in an arc to enter my throat. My speech is completely purified of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra speech. Red nectar light from her throat to yours. Purifying lying, divisive speech, harsh speech, idle gossip, any mistakes done verbally purified with the stream of red light. And shift. Please bless me to purify all obscurations of my mind so that it will become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra mind. And visualize blue light emanates from the womb at Arya Tara's heart and curves in an arc to my heart. My mind is purified of all obscurations and becomes one in essence with Guru Tara's holy Vajra mind. from her heart chakra to your heart chakra, stream of blue light, this nectar light purifying covetousness, ill will, wrong views, all mistakes of mind related to anger, attachment, ignorance, etc. And request, please bless me to purify all delusions and subtle obscurations to omniscience so that my body, speech, and mind will become one with Guru Tara's holy body, speech, and mind. And visualize that three colored beams of light emanate simultaneously from the Om, Ah, and Hum syllables, curving in arcs and entering my three places completely purifying all my delusions and subtle obscurations to omniscience. My body, speech, and mind become one in essence with Guru Tara's holy body, holy speech, and holy mind. And then my root guru dissolves into Arya Tara, who melts into green light, which flows into me, 
instantly my wrong conception that I and all other phenomena are self-existent, together with my dualistic mind and its views, disappear, becoming completely empty. Not even a trace of them remains. I concentrate one pointedly in this empty state with the wisdom that is indistinguishably one with Guru Tara's blissful omniscient mind. Holding awareness that all phenomena are empty of inherent existence because they dependently arise. Then, out of emptiness, wisdom manifests instantly as Aryatara's holy body seated upon a lotus and moon cushion. Facing me, looking directly at me, holding in her gaze all sentient beings with perfect, equanimous, compassionate love. At her heart is another lotus and moon, upon which in the center stands the syllable tum, surrounded in a clockwise direction by the syllables of the mantra, Om Tare Tu Tare Ture Soha. The tum and the mantra are manifestations of Guru Tara's holy mind. Green light radiates from all the letters, spreading in every direction. It purifies the negative karmas, gross delusions, and subtle obscurations to omniscience of all sentient beings who come to have Tara with them. Again, light radiates bearing manifold offerings to the six transcendental senses of all the Buddhas and sentient beings who have Tara with them. The enlightened beings are extremely pleased and shower down the superlative qualities of Buddha Tara's holy body, holy speech and holy mind, omniscient wisdom, supreme power and infinite compassion in the form of a great shower of light rays. As I recite the mantra, I absorb and am blessed by this rain. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. Om tare to tare to re soha, om tare, 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 to tare to re soha, om tare. To tare to re soha, om tare, to tare to re soha, om tare, to tare to re soha. And continue the mantra under your breath, together with the visualization. Om tare to tare to re soha.
momentary to Tari to so and think that Tara and all of the Taras dissolve into light and absorb into you, blessing your body, speech, and mind. And we dedicate. May I quickly become Guru Arya Tara and lead each and every sentient being to her enlightened state because of these merits. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. And you can relax your attention. Okay. So you can do that practice in a longer way or a shorter way, depending on your needs. But uh, I think that most of you will have some sort of familiarity with the purification practice of Vajrasattva. It's nice to know that there are other purification practices as well, like Tara. Um, as with all purification practices, to render the seeds of negative karma unable to bear the fruit of suffering, you need the four opponent powers. If we put them all in our words, we have refuge, regret, rem remedy, and resolve, right? You need all four. And uh, same goes for Tara. So explicitly in the sadhana is refuge and remedy, the remedy being the purification and the mantra. Um, not explicitly is regret and resolve. So you have to weave those in there if you want it to be a full and complete practice of purification but it's an excellent one to do if you like it. It also is really good for stress relief. That, uh, that visualization of the arcs of light, um, even very gently and simply, once you get used to it, it can be very soothing. It can really settle your nervous system and um, help you connect with the guru. Also implicit in all of these practices, sometimes written out, sometimes not, is after the mantra recitation time that the deity, whether you are the deity or the deity is in front, that the deity dissolves into light, absorbs into you, blesses your body, speech, and mind. So sometimes that's explicitly written, sometimes it isn't, but that's a, a part of the practice as well. So your homework, should you choose to accept it, is to do that practice by yourself. Yes, do it once by yourself so that we can talk about it tomorrow. Um, but for now, we'll just kind of let it brew.